Hello, nice to meet you. It's Bot Chief Editor. In this video, I will talk about all the actions in process control. For your better understanding of these actions, I will talk about these actions combining with an action I have shared before. It's page load wait action in browser operation. It can loop to search an element in a page. If it finds the element, it will continue to run the following action. After we learn these actions, we can use this page load wait action well. Now I start the first action, wait loop. It can loop to wrong actions, so I can add some more child nodes under it. That is to say, some actions which needs loop execution. Its action settings, sleep time of each cycle, means how long it needs to wait after a complete cycle before to begin the next cycle. For cycle timeout, it means if you set a time and if it fails to complete the execution of actions in wait loop in this specified time limit, the whole module will stop. Here you can choose to continue to run this module or not if it times out. Save the settings. Then I add a find control action under wait loop. Through wait loop and find control to actions, now I can loop to search an element. If the element could be found, wait loop action will stop and continue to execute the following actions. So there will be a judgment, which is if action in process control. If action, we use it to judge the variable and to execute different actions according to the judge results. Now view the action settings. Click Variable Management. I can manage the variables. These variables were added in advance. It can judge any type of variables. If you choose table type variable, you need to choose the column and the row. To judge the first row, random row, or all the rows. These are the conditions of judgment. Here are the object of comparison. You can manually input the value. You can also choose value from the variable. If you choose to manually input the value, you need to input the content here in the input box. If you check this, it will be not case sensitive. Click test. You can see the return value. Two results will be returned, true or false. If the condition of judgment is true, it will return a true. If the condition is false, it will return a false. Here for page load weight action, so I need to choose a control type variable to judge if the element I need would be found. For judgment of control type variable, if it's empty in it, true will be returned. If not empty, false will be returned. If false was returned, it means find control has found the element and already saved it to the control type variable. Since there is no element in my control variable, if I test, true will be returned. Save the settings. If it found the element I need, it will enter the false operation and it will start to get out of the loop operation. So next, I will talk about two actions. The first action is go to. It can jump to the specified step. As you can see the numbers ahead of the actions. So if you input the number here, it can jump to the specified step. Another action with a similar function, break. We use it to break the loop, generally used together with if action. In a loop operation, judgment first. If the condition is true, it can break the loop. Element found, it breaks the loop. If not, it needs to continue. So here I need to add continue action. This action 
will continue to start back to the start of the current loop operation. That is to say, if the element wasn't found, it will go back to the beginning of the current action, wait loop, and begin the loop execution of actions under it one by one. You need to remember that if I add more actions after continue action, these actions won't be executed, but it will get back to the beginning of the current loop operation. Continue action is generally used together with if action under wait loop action. Through these actions in process control, I have successfully emulated the function of page load wait. The next action, try catch. Two actions contained. I can also add some try nodes under these two actions. If the whole module is running, if actions in try action have something wrong, the module will skip try action and continue to run catch action, and then run the actions left. That is because when the module is running, once there is something wrong with one action, the whole module will stop. So if I add try catch action and add some try nodes under try action, when the module is running, even though there will be something wrong with actions under try action, the module will continue running the rest actions. So when we need try catch action, for example, when I want to load a page and search an element on it, but the element I need fails to load because of the internet connection, so the element is not found. If I add try catch action, even though there will be something wrong with actions in try action, the module will keep running catch action. If I add go to action in catch action, the module will go back to try action and run try action again. Next action, end. It's an action with return value. You can set the return value as good end or bad end. If I set it as good end, I need to put end action at the end of module or the end of action block. If an action goes wrong in try action, if it jumps to catch action, I can set it to display bad end. There will be a pop-up window. You can input the return message here. I once mentioned, a project consists of module and form. As for form, variables in form and module could not be shared. If you want to use variable in the module under the same project through form, you need to add end action and run that module so the value in the variable could be transferred to the form so that you can use variable through form. Well, stop here. I will talk more about it in later videos. The next action, switch, is similar to if action. It judges the value in a variable. Here to select the type of variable, the type of the object of judgment. If I choose string type variable, I need to select the corresponding type of variable. Save the settings. Here's another action case. When the value in the selected variable equals to the value I input here, or equals to the value in the variable if I use, you can add multiple case actions. So it can judge different types of variables and does different operations. Next action, sleep. It means to wait. Here to select the time limit for the wait. If sleep action is between two actions, when the first action has been successfully executed, there will be a period of waiting time and then the second action will start. The last action today is lock. 
This action is used only for module operation. There is also lock action in Windows control operation. I will share more about that in new videos. How to set the lock? Right click on module and click lock manager. Here are some operations on the lock here. I add a lock. Click lock to view its action settings. To select the lock and save the settings. The function of lock action is that in Botchief Runner, I can use multiple threads to run one module. In other words, a module can be executed many times at the same time. If there are operations to change the variable and read the variable in the module respectively, if the two operations are executed at the same time, the information it reads may be not very correct. But if I add a lock action to change variable operation. It will wait and read only after the write is finished. These are all the actions in process control. Thank you.